Hey y'all, what is up and welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be an update on my Project Pan 2023. It is update number two. I'm not quite able to do this monthly. It's going to be a little bit of a struggle to do it monthly, so it might run every other month right now. I filmed the beginning of this kind of near like the end of January. So I felt like I needed to go at least to the end of February, like a good month, in order to be able to do an update. And now we're at the first week of March when I'm filming this. So here we are in March. Going to give you an update. I've had some good progress with the products that I have been using. So let's just get started, guys. So first up, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Setting Spray. Um, I will insert pictures for the products that show like um, actual like pan. Otherwise, if it's a marking, I won't be inserting pictures. You can just be able to see uh, like the marking and like how far down I've came down so on this one I have came down I would say almost an inch because it was pretty much brand new I'd used it just a couple times so I've used up a good inch of the product so let me get my marker out and I'm just going to remark everything so I feel like that is like really great progress in my opinion the only sad thing is, is since I have like actually been testing out this product, I feel like this product has a ton of hype. Like I hear people talking about this Charlotte Tilbury setting spray and it making their makeup just like last for like hours. And like I have really oily skin so like I can really put a product to test, you know? But this has not made my makeup like last any more than like as just a standard setting spray. Like this is not worth the hype in my opinion at all. I've learned that using this product now for the times I have used it, it's not worth it. Okay, then I have my Too Faced bronzer and I'm pretty positive I took uh, pictures of this. I sure hope I did. Okay, yes, found the picture. So I will be able to insert pictures here. Now let me just tell you, I took that picture and then it was like on the outer perimeter pan. So it was making it really difficult to pick up my product. So I ended up repressing the product. So this is what it looks like now repressed. So it kind of looks like a little bit of a like mess, but uh, so here's what the product looks like. Hopefully you can see side by side a little bit of a difference in the product, but let me just tell you, this product usually literally can take like forever to use up. I've been going on this bronzer for over a year now, a year and going on three months. <laughs> so this takes forever to use up and I'm hoping I literally use this every day when I put my makeup on. I have not hardly been using a different bronzer. Even though I have another bronzer in this project pan, I literally use that one once and I'm like, no, I want to get this one finished. So I'm just going to use this one. And it is still just going strong. I'm just like, how long does this take to use up? And it still has the, the standard Too Faced smell. It still smells good. It's, it's a great, it's a great bronzer, but I'm ready to be done with it. I'm really ready to be done. Okay, moving on to the next product is the e.l.f. Dew Pop Primer. And I just emptied this when I did my makeup today. And let me just say, this little baby, this lasted forever. Like, I had the line marking here, and it took the whole month since I filmed that video in, like, that third week of January. It took all of February and this first week of March to use this up. That little bitty bit like right there like that like half an inch marking took forever to use up. Like I was just like thinking like geez Louise this little bit are we ever gonna run out? Finally used it up today so woohoo can put this in the empties. 
and I'm replacing it with another primer. This is the Touch and Soul Icy Sherbert Primer. And I've had this probably for two to three years and it says like a 12 month shelf life and this stuff still smells fine. It literally smells just like I opened it. I love this primer. It's like a cooling, it's a very nice like texture whenever you put this on. I'll actually see, be sad to see this go but I really just need to use this up in my collection and it's just it's just like, I wouldn't say it's like mattifying, so I really need to use this up before summertime. It's not like pore minimizing, it's just kind of a nice cooling, like hydrating primer. So here's what the inside looks like. As you can see on the side here, it's, you can see that I'm like halfway, halfway empty on this one. So I'm really hoping that I can use this up in like within maybe the next, not the next check-in, but maybe by the next one. So maybe like in three months, I can get this one used up. Would be amazing to get that out of my collection. So that one is replacing the e.l.f. Dupont primer. Moving on to the fourth item in my project pan is the Jaclyn Loose Powder. And I used this one up, so excited. The second use up for this project pan. So here was the line marking. Granted, I, I have used up a good three quarters of this product, so I only had a quarter of it left to go, but this powder lasted me at least eight months. And me putting makeup on five, sometimes six days out of the week, that's a lot of, that's like a lot of makeup I can go through sometimes, especially when it comes to like foundations, concealers, powders, primers, kind of, brow pencils is a big one. So this one to last me eight months was quite a long time. I ended up um, completely like taking the like sifter out to be able to get all the product. So I am kind of sad to see this one go. This was a really good powder. I liked it a lot. But I'm going to be replacing that powder with a foundation. I actually need to put the mark on this one. This is the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. I don't think they make this one anymore and I really just kind of want to use this one up. It's a favorite of mine but I feel like it's not lasting quite as long on my skin as it used to. I don't know if my skin has just gotten even more oily or what but it seems to kind of break up a little bit quicker on my skin but I just want to use it up because I've had it for a little while. Um, you can see where I put the marking. You can kind of see a little bit of hollowness right here. So that's the marking and we'll see how far I can use this up. Um, this one, you really can't like get into the packaging to like scrape any out. I don't even know <laughs> if that would be a possibility. But this one, once it stops pumping, I really don't think I'll be able to get much more out of this. So I'm thinking I'll probably be able to use this up by the next check-in because I just put foundation, I put makeup on so often. So this foundation is replacing the Jaclyn powder I used up. Next up on my list is the e.l.f. Putty Blush in Turks and Caicos. Let me just find that. So when I started this, it was brand new. I had just started using this. And I will put up the image here to the left so you can kind of see. So there's what it looks like now. As you can see in the middle, I have quite the little divot going on. I have used this pretty much every day. I really feel like I've made great progress on this blush in particular. So I feel like I'm gonna hit pan on that. Like by the next check-in, I guarantee there will be a pan because there's not a lot of product in these e.l.f blush like the bronzers in this packaging I used up one of these bronzers like in two or three months so I feel like I'll be able to use this up pretty quick next up is the elf coffee lip scrub so I can barely see through this packaging in order to know where to put the marking so the bottom marking 
The bottom marking was where I started. The top one is now where the product sits. If I turn it there, you might be able to see the darkness in the packaging, like near the top, like how much is left compared to the line on the bottom. I have used quite a bit of this up, so I'm really excited on the progress on this one. Hopefully we'll be able to use this up um, quickly just to be able to cycle through another product in my collection. Next up is the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer. Now, like I said, I only use this I only use this bronzer once, so I'm not even gonna like bother with retaking a new picture of this one because it literally looks the same. I used it once, maybe twice. This one's starting to lose the scent. It's supposed to smell smell like coconut, I'm pretty sure. And I don't know if I will use very much of this one until I can get the Too Faced bronzer, bronzer used up. So this one's going to be a struggle to be able to hit pan. I want to be able to hit pan in it by the end of the year, but who knows if that will happen. Okay, moving on to the Physician's Formula Butter Blush. Now, this one I had just started using. It was pretty much brand new whenever I started this Project Pan. So, I feel like I've made pretty good progress. So, here's what it looks like now. I will put the picture up here on the left of the screen. Or, I guess it might be your right, but... I have been using a lot of the bottom like half because it goes really good with the current um, putty blush that I'm using from e.l.f. Cosmetics. So what I will kind of do is I will put this one on as my cream blush and then I will layer this powder blush on top and I feel like these two just go like really great together. Okay, next item is the Item Beauty Lip Gloss. And I really kind of want to replace this item because I cannot, like, for the life of me, stick to one lip gloss to pan it. I just, that's just not, that's just not me. I just don't think I can do that. I think I'm going to put in this um, powder I'm currently using. It is the Tarte Shape Tape setting powder. I'll just try to... Um, I'm gonna mark a line as to where I'm at. I just I just can't pan a gloss to save my life so I'm just not even gonna try. So here is the powder I've kind of current currently been using and it's like here which I feel like that's like halfway empty. I'm not sure how full it was when I first started so so I'll probably be able to use that up within the next couple months, I would say. And then the very last thing is my perfume I have um, in my project pan. And as you can see, I've used up quite a bit of this. I would say I've went down almost like a good half an inch, maybe almost an inch. So I feel like that is really good progress. Let me just remark this line. And that is going to do it for today's Project Pan update for January and February. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave. And don't forget that you are absolutely stunning. Bye y'all. Thanks for watching.